Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Naela. So today I'm showing you how I got this beat and this hair and the outfit and where I got it from. So if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. Okay you guys, so we're going to start off with my hair. This is a wig I got um, before um, from a sponsorship. So I will tag it at the top corner. I don't remember who's from, but I did dye it black. I've washed it. I cut like a blunt cut into it and then I also put layers in it so it could look like something because <laughs> I was just gonna wear it as a blunt cut but it didn't look right so yeah and this is a frontal wig it's not transparent lace or anything it's just a regular kind of lace color I mean regular lace so this is what I've done I'm doing like what I wore yesterday um, I went out yesterday. I was supposed to film this yesterday, but I wasn't able to. So I wore this yesterday. I did my makeup like this. We went out to Mastro's in DC for my boyfriend's 26th birthday. It was really good food. Expensive, but good food. Um, the service was really fast. The food came out really quick. Like we was in there less than an hour. To be, well, like an hour at the most. And the only thing I didn't like was that the tables were too close. Like. Yeah, I didn't like that. So I'm gonna curl my hair first in like sections and then I pin curl it after so it can stay. I'm not going anywhere, but I am filming another video after this. So I just need it to look good. <laughs> um and it's also good to pin your curl it's also good to pin your curls after too because they'll last longer and they cool down so yeah but I haven't done like a get ready with me kind of video in a long time y'all so I hope you guys enjoy this um so what was I saying oh I'm going to make a video on how I do my frontals because I've learned something on YouTube because Usually with my head, I don't know if it's me installing it or I don't know, but my head's kind of smaller. I feel like it's like in a weird shape for frontals. So I always get this buckling on the frontal. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to do a video of how I install my frontal wigs because now I do not get buckling anymore after I've seen this video on YouTube. So I'm going to do a video about it soon when I do another wig because <laughs> I just did this one so it came out really good like I have no buckling the lace looks pretty good um yeah so and I haven't done a wig like installation video in a long time so I feel like that would be good to do and this hairspray is by Garnier Futis that's how it looks this is for volume but I've just been using it for my curls I don't know if that's really what you're supposed to use but that's what I've been using I feel like I've been getting good with like styling my hair y'all because I do have a hair business which I'm gonna make a whole video about as well um but while you're out of you can follow me on Instagram it's in extensions I will put it on the screen but yeah, I sell wigs and extensions and all that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna start doing more hair videos so I can show off my hair and how bomb it is. If you guys did notice, I got a new lens. I don't know if you could tell, the quality is like so much better on this lens. Um, the only thing I didn't like and I didn't even know is that it doesn't zoom. So, that's the only thing. But,. I feel like if I need a zoom, I could just use my other lens that this cam that came with this camera, and this camera is the Canon M50, and it's a good camera. So, and when I vlog, I don't even use my camera like that to be honest. Like I should be using, I use my phone because one, first of all, now this camera is big with this lens on it, and it's just heavy. And I like the Sony ZV1, so I want to get that for vlogging it's small and it's just i feel like it's better for vlogging okay you guys so my hair is pinned up this is how it looks 
So I did all these pins. So now we're gonna move on to the makeup. And my makeup routine is pretty the same. I do have new products, um, but this is not a makeup routine, so I'm not gonna go through everything. But I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and come back and just show you my face. But for eyebrows, I don't know if you guys know, I use the Morphe pencil. It's the Morphe um, micro bow pencil and I use this in the shade Mocha. And I also use the Morphe M1, sorry, M158. And that's an angle brush. And then I use Morphe's Mocha brow cream. This is how that looks. So I use like all Morphe products for my eyebrows. And yeah. So, and I also use the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Deep Brown. So that just gives my brows some, I don't think it's nothing. One has something, one doesn't. Yeah. That just gives my brows some definition. And I also use this for my brows when I'm just going out. So it's not like a, so I don't have to actually do my brow, I just do this. So they look done, you see? But I do better than that. <laughs> Just to give my brows some color and thickness. So I'm gonna do my brows and I'll come back. You guys, so I finished my brows. Um, I'm probably gonna go back over them. So I use the Tarte Concealer to conceal them in the shade 425 Tan Sand. And I also use the Prime the Milk Hydro Grip Concealer. So Y'all love this quality so much. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've been using my NARS foundation. I'm going to do probably another get ready with me soon or something because I'm going to get another foundation. It's by Estee Lauder. I think that'll be better with me because my skin is very oily. So in the um, NARS concealers, I mean the NARS foundation is very oily. So what I've been doing is been putting some powder on my face first. And then I go in with my products just so I don't oil up quick and I also conceal underneath my eyes too first just so because I do have bags so you can't see that and this I use the LA girl concealer for y'all so i don't know if y'all want me to do this but you can if you want i mean if you want me to i can just leave a comment and i'll do it but i have a new filming kind of setup on new film stuff so i'll probably do it to show you guys but i have a new oh my lash is going off i have a new lens i have a new um light and yeah that's pretty much it though so I don't know, I might show you guys one day. So, yep, this is what I do. So I conceal underneath my eyes first and you see how that just gives me like a nice base. So then I go in with my NARS foundation and this is in the shade Tahoe. And then I just blend that all over my face. And this brush I use is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I got this at Target for like it's very cheap under ten dollars so and it's a good foundation brush I've been using so but I, I do like this foundation from NARS but if you are oily I don't recommend because it just oils up quick and I seen this TikTok like it just that does like oils and stuff and it just oils up really quickly so I don't recommend for oily people but if you have dry skin I definitely recommend this foundation so yep and next I use my Tarte concealer again in the shade tan sand underneath my eyes and I'll just let that sit a little bit and I just do my whole t-zone so I just kind of fan that out so it could dry. And I do have lash extensions on y'all. I've been loving my lash extensions since I got them in Vegas. Uh, y'all don't want this to get on my lashes underneath. Um, 
So my friend Tracy does them. So her Instagram is Miso Lash. And these are 16s. And this was a fill-in. A volume fill-in. And I like volume because they just look good with makeup. So if you wear like a full face of makeup, they look good. It looks like your lashes on. So that's why I like the volume lash. And then I just blend out the concealer. I use my setting brush from Real, Techni Real Techniques. And I just press that in to set it all. And then I also got some new concealer from Kevin Aquan, which I've been wanting for a long time, but I got the wrong shade, so I need to order it again, which is annoying because this was like $40. I got 7X, I mean, I'm sorry, C SX07. So it's like a light shade, but it's it it's like a neutral tone. So it doesn't fit me like that. It, it's too bright for me. Too bright and, and very neutral. I need something with a warm undertone. I'm starting to learn my tones now. So I just put a little bit of this on. Because this is how it looks in there. In, in the um, jar, it doesn't look. But you see how really light and bright this is? So you just use a little bit. I just really use like the teeniest bit. And this I use my beauty blender for. So it could take up some of the product. And it's not wet. I need to shut up it. But, um, and then I just blend this out. And a little goes a long way with this. So that's why I feel like bad. Because like this is not the, the good shade for me. And... I mean, I still can use it to brighten up my under eye, but. So that's my concealer. I'm going to then set with my Beauty Bakery powder. I do like it. And then I'll come back on and do my contour blush. And then we could get into the outfit. So I'll be right back when this is all set. Well, I could show you guys real quick. And then I'll just come back one when I'm basically finished. So I'm just putting powder on. And I use a brush for powder. I use the e.l.f. small taper brush. And I just press the powder in. And I like this trick too because it makes the... Um, just helps you conceal. I mean, have the powder just press into your skin more. So I like doing that. And then I put it on my chin, put it all around my face, at the top. And so yesterday I just put powder all over. I usually don't do this because I usually do cream, but put powder all over. And then I'm going to use my Morphe. I don't have it right now. I forgot. It's in my other room. It's my Morphe. Um, contour my morphe contour powder it's not contour it's bronzer my morphe bronzer palette and then i'm going to use my makeup by mario um blush i got it's new and it's a bomb it's in poppy pink so it's very bright it's a very bright pink but it looks good on my face so i like it and after that i'll just come back finish my face off and then we'll get into the outfit so i'll be right back Okay y'all, so I'm back. I did my um, bronzing and my blush. And like I said, I used a poppy blush and this light pink. And it's very pink, so I don't try to put a lot on there. And then I just put the same bronzer as like my highlight, my hot, I'm sorry. Y'all can't talk, my eyelid shade. And then I have this um, Charlotte Tilbury powder. I have the shade medium 2 and tan 3. So I put the medium 2, that's the real light one, underneath my eye. And I just use the setting brush from Real Techniques. It's a 402 brush. Just to set that underneath my eye. And this just helps brighten and just put some color to it on my under eye. So I do that because this is a bright shade. So I do that underneath. basically where I um, put the concealer and then underneath my 
cheeks I used the two because it's a little darker and it's like more of my skin tone so I'll put that underneath my contour and stuff just to give it some definition so yep that is the look and um, next I just do my eyeliner I did black eyeliner I just used it from like a kit I had like the eyeshadow kit and I just put it at the bottom of my eye I just use a brush it's like black eyeshadow I use so I use a blush put it underneath like that I put some more but I'm not gonna put that much because I'm not going anywhere today So y'all, I've been actually liking, like, it looked so good yesterday. So, my face was more beat yesterday because I actually went out. And I'm just trying to show you guys what I did. So, yep, that's the look. I'm just going to fix up my eyebrows a little bit. But that's how I got my makeup. And I finished off with my all-nighter makeup urban decay all-nighter spray and I, I usually cover my lashes but i don't really care i just cover my lace for real <laughs> and then so yep that's the look i also put some i um sorry I cannot talk today y'all <laughs> some bottom mascara on this is by Mary Beauty and it's a real small um eyelash mascara so and it like see look look at the difference it makes oh so, yep that's how I do my bottom lashes and this I just use like a brown lip liner and NYX is called what's the color brown it's literally brown <laughs> I just line my lips with this and I use my Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade staycation it's like a nice nude and then I use my NYX butter gloss in the shade fortune cookie it's just like a gloss and it's like a pink like a nudish pink so yeah that's always my combo it always looks good so Yep, that is the look. That's the makeup. And I'm going to just take out my hair. So this is how it looks when you first take it out. And then I kind of like finger comb it. Just so. This side's a little, sh I cut it a little shorter with the, um, with the razor. So, and then I do this just to fluff it up a little. Yep, that's how I do the hair, y'all. It's all about the layers. I just cut it with some sheer cutters and just to give it some layering. And yep, it's really cute. Okay, you guys, so I'm back with my outfit on. And the fragrance I wore last night was my Dossier Ambry Saffron. And that is supposed to be Baccarat 540, Baccarat Rouge 540. So I use this and it smells so good. And you guys know I love Dossier because they smell exactly like the real perfume. But yeah, so I use Dossier and I wore this outfit. I'm gonna show you guys like the side view. Okay guys, so I never really showed you guys this view before, but I'm just trying to show you the outfit. So this top is from Zara and the sweater and the pants are from Fashion Nova, they are this long just skinny jeans also wore this crossbody LV bag it's like a wallet and then I wore my Alexander McQueen shoes I got for my birthday last year so it was a cute look so yep and you will see this in my next Zara haul I do on my channel so yep that is the look y'all super cute and everything matches so Yep, and this is the back. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's gonna be a mini vlog at the end so I hope you guys enjoyed this four-in-one like get ready with me you guys the makeup hair outfits and perfume and a little vlog at the end so I hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments below if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye Okay. <laughs> it's the makeup for me. Right. No,